Hey everybody, here's a walk around video of the 68 L78 M22 Camaro. Just to show you how it looks in kind of real time here. Body is all original sheet metal, no replacement panels, all original, never rusted, never hit. Laser straight. I do not use that term lightly either. You can pretty much count the aggregate in my driveway and the blades of grass and the leaves on the trees if you look closely enough. It's a bare metal respray. Car still wears its original 1968 South Carolina plates. Has stacks of paperwork. The original owner uh, did a notarized uh, statement about his history of the car as well. It's long term ownership. And it went through the hands of uh, two really well known Camaro collectors, including one that owns an auction company not bring a trailer then it went to me for a number of years I sold it to a really good friend I then helped him sell it to another really good friend and great collector a uh, friend of mine and they've had it for a little while but uh, their collection is other than this car basically 100% Shelby's and Ford's they just fell in love with this car but now have decided to focus on the Shelby and Ford stuff. So let's take a look inside. I apologize, it's a little bit dusty and dirty and we just did the driving video so there's some blades of grass on the floor mats and stuff. But um, And two big binders of documentation, history, paperwork, photographs from 1968 on. Um, I don't think you could find a better documented L78 car and I don't know how many M22 cars they made I've been told it's a handful and then let's break that down and go from L78 M22 cars and let's make it a red red car and then start adding in stuff like uh, console gauges AM FM and then the crowning achievement is the special ordered 307 rear end which makes this car absolutely a one of one totally unique and if I'm gonna be really obnoxious let's talk about how many factory L78 M22 cars do they make how many do they make in red with red interior how many do they make options like this and out of all of those cars, let's say out of all L78s, how many have 100% original sheet metal, original drivetrain, carburetor, engine, transmission, uh, rear end, original dated wheels that have never been separated from the car, original upholstery, original dash, original gauges. Um, it's a pretty spectacular combination. So let's pop the hood here. I'll try to do a quick pop with one hand. I might need to put you guys down for a moment. Yep, I'm going to put you guys down for a moment. Stand by. There we go. So there is the heart of the matter, the L78. Again, numbers matching, factory installed, original numbers matching. I don't know how else to say it. The Corvette guys have kind of ruined it for us by saying numbers matching on restamps. This is numbers matching original drivetrain. I think that's the correct terminology these days. I have pictures of the engine apart, showing all the date codes, and casting numbers and all that stuff. Our original cowl tag has never been off the car. Original brake booster has been all rebuilt. It's dated, original. Has the day two headers and again, I have the original manifolds and smog system that was removed 
1968 by the original owner. I still have it sitting in a box pretty much where he put it, 68. Get a better shot of the passenger side for you. There's all that paperwork and some of my cleaning supplies, which clearly I haven't used. It's a little dusty in here. All right, I'll go over here and I'll do a little operations check. So in the driving video, I said everything works. I lied. Um, the clock doesn't work. I mean, unless you want to consider it working twice a day. Come on, focus, little camera. There we go. So key in, buzzer works. Key on, it's in reverse. There's that reverse light the original owner put in. We also put in this switch to turn the tail lights off. Why would anybody want to do that? It's disabled, but uh, he said he put that in there because with that 307 gear, you could, how's the song go? You could really get lost. Um, and he would like to do that apparently, or thought about doing that. So um, we got an original dashboard. It's factory paint on the dash. Uh, original gauges, first handle here on a Muncie shifter. Um, radio, AM, FM. Thing to warm up here. Well, she did there some sort of magical scale. First, she took pictures of my scalp with a cam. It's in America. Uh, just can't get music on her radio anymore. For watches and other. Holy smokes. Anyway. You can get two. Find it by local. Uh, in for video. See it clicking through there. Well. Okay, so that works. All the HVAC fan, frost, all that stuff works really nicely. Um, lights work, wipers work, I'm not gonna show you that. Don't wanna scratch up the windshield. All the gauges work. Uh, yeah, so, oh, turn signals. Let's, let's do the full used car inspection here. Turn signals if I turn the wheel, I cancel. There you go. So, She'll pass a safety inspection. You know, sometimes you gotta do that before you take your driver's test. Um, Cause I assume it's gonna be a 16 year old who buys this car. Uh, so that's basically it. It's a really special car with great history and uh, great paperwork. And uh, let's see, I can, I can page through a little bit of this, I guess, since I have you. I just don't know when to shut up. Um, Oh yeah, it's on the cover of a Muscle Car Review, great article in there, uh, original keys. There's a there's a uh, CD of all the restoration photos uh, to the car. Um, you know, full baby book with all the documentation cataloged. Original sales contract. There'll be pictures of all this stuff, obviously, on the listing, but um, here's the memo from the internal memo from the dealership from Jasper Motors. Um, got some stamps in here, even. Um, here's how he optioned the car out. So, uh, J56 heavy duty brakes, M22 trans, um, F41 heavy duty suspension, has the spoiler package. Uh, AM radio, I guess the FM was added, he added that after the fact. I keep seeing 307, it's a 308, Matador Red. Um, warranty book with Protecto plate. Original owner's manual. Original owner's folio. Yeah, I, could, I could sit here all day and go through all this stuff. There's a picture of the Protecto plate. Um, the envelopes from GMAC. His payment book. Uh, original title. Or copies of the original title, I should say. 
pictures of it. March, April, 68. March, June, 68. Um, again, great period photos, documentation. Uh, pictures of it with the uh, engine out. Got the slides of all that stuff. The original owner. Uh, anyway, there's there's just mountains and mountains of paperwork all the way through every owner. Um, part numbers and everything, date codes are all documented. Here's again the well, this sheet of paper says 307 axle ratio. So maybe maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Um, Uniquely optioned, certainly. The big brakes, big trans, original wheels, the date codes. But yeah, like I said, there's pictures of the engine all apart, everything. You can see every date code, every stamp, totally legit. Not a stamper. Uh, here's more pictures of the drivetrain when it was apart. Documenting all that. Um, Restoration receipts when I had the car painted. Original showroom brochure from Jasper Motors where it was sold new. Um, so yeah, and there's a whole nother binder of more paperwork after that too. So again, I'm not gonna be able to cover all this in you know one or two videos, but uh, you know just holler if I can help and uh, give you any more info. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.